Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at Mac Window Basics. So on the Mac, Windows, whether they're in the Finder or in an application like Safari, behave more or less the same. Let's take a look at some basics, like how to resize windows, close them, and open new ones. So here's a basic Finder window. Now a lot of switchers have trouble figuring out how to resize a window and close it things like that. Let's take a look. So when you have a window like this, to resize it, all you need to do is drag at the bottom right here. You see a group of diagonal lines. If you click and drag that, you can resize the window like that. Now if you want to enlarge the window to fill as much space as possible, you use this green button here. When you roll over it, you'll see that it has a plus symbol in it. Now you click that and you see that the window changes size. Now you might expect for the window to fill the screen and that's not what happens. What happens is the window enlarges to be the maximum size that contains all the content in there. So you'll notice for instance when I drag the window like this I've got scroll bars. I've got a scroll bar here at the bottom. If I would drag it up I've got a scroll bar at the right. So there's more content in this window. Pressing the green plus button will enlarge the window to just the right size so there's no more scroll bar bars needed. It's just as wide and just as tall as you need it to be. You can drag and enlarge it more but you can see I'm not really seeing any more information. It's just blank space to the bottom and to the right. Now the yellow button is kind of like a minimize button but it doesn't just shrink the window. It'll actually put it in the dock. So if I click here I see that it goes down into the dock and I actually have that window here and I can click it and it will reappear. So it's very easy to get a window out of the way but still have it available and bring it back. Now to close a window we can use the red button here. It has an X in it when you roll over it. You could also go to file and close window which reveals a really handy keyboard shortcut command W. I use command W to close most windows. When you have a whole bunch of different finder windows open it's very easy to use command W to close them quickly without having to move the mouse over the red button. To open a new window, you can use File and then New Finder Window or it will be a new Safari window if you're in Safari, new iTunes window if you're in iTunes. You can also use Command N and just about any application to open up a new document window. You can open up a bunch of them and close them again with Command W. Now the Finder windows also have this button at the upper right. A lot of people mistake that for a close button because it's more similar to where Windows puts their close button. Click on that though and what you get are all the toolbars disappear. So you get the sidebar gone and the toolbar at the top. Click on it again and it will appear again. Most applications don't have this but it's there in the finder. Then of course there's window movement. You can drag a window by grabbing the top of the window near the title and drag it anywhere you want. So if you want to resize a window and reposition it you can drag it where you want it and then resize it by grabbing the bottom right. So here we are in Safari and the basics are the same. We've got the red, yellow, and green buttons. The red button will close the window. You can also use File, Close Window, or Command W. And then you can use the yellow button to hide the window in the dock. And you can use the green button to expand the window to maximum size. So if we do that, we see that the window doesn't quite expand to the maximum size because it's too big to fit on the screen. So it expands to the largest size it needs horizontally and as far as you can go vertically as well. You can resize the Safari window to any size you want by grabbing the bottom right corner and you can move it by grabbing the top. You can also open a new Safari window by going to File, New Window or Command N. One of the biggest differences between Windows on Mac and Windows is that Maximize button. On Windows it will expand to fill the entire screen regardless of what content's in there. On the Mac it will only expand to the size needed to show all the content. It won't add extra space just to pad the left and right. Hope you found this look at using interface windows on the Mac useful. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.